Welcome to CATS Tutorials and in this video we are going to be covering practice problem 4.7. Now we are asked to find Ix using source transformation. Now if you look at this you could easily solve this using nodal analysis just from a variable there and just find your Ix from equations and find Ix. But since we are actually practicing source transformation, let's just go ahead and follow the instructions which are given. So we have a voltage source which is in series with um, a resistor. So we're going to transform that into, into a current source which is in parallel with that same resistor. Since we are interested in Ix, we rather not transform that, that part of a current source, which is in parallel with this. So let's not touch this part. Let's not even think about it. Let's transform this other part into, since we have a voltage source in series with the resistor, let's transform that into a resistor, which is in parallel with the current source. So we are using the same rule. Uh, we are using Ohm's law. So basically we're just gonna divide this uh, voltage value of two Ix, by the current value, right? So that is that is the value of our that is the value of our current source, which is zero point four ix, right? So now, since we transform that, let's redraw the circuit. Let's redraw the circuit which we have, and this is what we have at the at the moment. Ix, and we have a resistor which is in parallel with this new uh, current source which you just calculated. But if you look at the, the positive of this, as I said uh, in the previous video, uh, when I was covering uh, practice problem 4.6, if you have a current source which is pointing up, then your positive is gonna be at the top. If it points down, then when you transform, your positive is gonna be at the bottom. So now we are actually reversing this. So we have this case, as a voltage source, so we are actually going to transform it into an arrow which points down. So the arrow always points in the direction of the positive uh, terminal of the voltage source. So we expect to have a current source which points down of value 0 0.4 Ix. So now this, everything at the top is now one node, which we can call V. Right, so doing some nodal analysis, we are going to have negative 24 ma plus v divided by 10 plus v divided by 5 and then plus 0 0.4 ix is equal to 0. But what is ix? If we check ix, ix is actually v divided by 10. So let's substitute this v divided by 10 into this point where we see ix. So just uh, quickly substituting that, we're going to have this v divided, by, uh, v divided by 5 and then plus 0 0.4 and multiply by v divided by 10 is equal to 0. Then what is the common factor which you can multiply by? It's 10. Uh, so multiplying everything by 10, then we are basically going to have negative 240 ma plus v plus 2v plus 0 0.4v is equal to 0. Now adding uh, the common terms up, we are actually going to have 3.4, this is 3, and that is 0.4. So 3.4v, right, 3.4v is equal to 240 milliampers. And now dividing both sides by 3.4, right, you're actually going to find v to be 70.588 times 10 to the minus 3, right? And this is volts. So we aren't done solving the problem. Since the problem is asking for Ix, we are going to say substitute V into there. And therefore, finally, Ix, substituting this V into that formula. So V divided by 10. And your final answer should be 7.059 milliampers.